Let's pretend that you are looking at the microscope and your sample is this lovely red blob here. And then you line up the little ruler that is on the eyepiece. And here's a ruler. You can like spin this around uh, when you're looking in the microscope. So to make it in the orientation of whatever you're trying to measure. And then you look at it like, okay, this goes from zero to 100. And I'm saying that this space between these tick marks is 10. So how big is this sample here? You can write it on the, on the whiteboard. More or less. And I'm trying to reproduce the drawing from the lab manual. So it's, it's kind of what you see there. So what I was looking for here is uh, this sample is 10 units because I told you that the space between that and that is 10. And, and that would be a correct, though not really satisfying answer. But so far, that's all you could tell. So this guy here measures 10 units. And you might be wondering, OK, which units is that? Miles? I'm like, OK, you know it's not miles because we're looking at the microscope. Is that millimeters? Is that micrometers? What unit is, what unit is that? And then the answer to that is that it's the whatever uh, it's, it's the unit of this, this little uh, ruler that is on your eyepiece. So, meaning, I don't know how far apart these guys are. I just know that that's a little ruler I see on my eyepiece. So then the answer to that, what kind of unit is that? It's, which, it's units of ocular reticle. So reticle is, means a little, like a hedge is a net, a reticle is a small net, which is basically saying this is 10 units of this little ruler you're using, but I don't know in which unit this ruler is. And uh, it's not because we're lazy to give it a unit, but it's just that that unit is not constant. Like how, how big this the space is, is not constant. So physically it is but how many micrometers it measures depends on which objective lens you're using. So let's pretend that I was using here the 4x objective, all right? When I move to the next, the next, um, let's see, I'm going to do this one. When I move to the next magnification, this guy here, though, so I am going to uh, increase the size of my objective. So it, then my sample is going to look bigger. In reality, it's still the same size, right? But it will look bigger because it will get magnified further. So in this case here, I'm using my 10x objective. Okay, first objective. On that could have, uh, okay, there you go. So between here and here, my sample didn't grow in reality, but it does look bigger because I went from four to 10. So it grew two and a half times, right? And then there was that four and then the 10, let me write here, the 10x uh, ocular which means that in here, I'm looking at the sample at 40x total magnification. Uh, when I move to my next objective, it's 10x, the objective is 10x, the ocular is 10x. So my total magnification is 10 times 10. So it's 100x. All right, so it grew two and a half times from uh, okay, from the, the 10 units, now it, it spends 25 units. But 
uh, the, these spaces here, they cannot count the same number of micrometers. If you had assumed that this space meant 10 micrometers, now when I go to the next objective, my sample grows, but the detail is that my ocular reticle does not grow. Okay, that piece is not under the objective, it's in the eyepiece. So this line here stays the same size, and then your sample looks bigger. So when you are using a larger objective, it's going to spend more units of your um, ocular reticle. So if you said, okay, I'm going to assume that each tick mark is one micrometer, then my sample here spends 10 tick marks, so it's 10 micrometers. And then when I move my objective, if it still measures 10 micrometers, suddenly my sample grew and now it's 250 micrometers long, which it didn't, right? Because it's, it looks bigger, but it's still the same size. So you sh yeah, actually I'm going to dot pole here. Uh, if you conclude that, okay, here we have uh, in the smaller magnification, it spends fewer units of this ruler. In the bigger magnification, it spends more units of the ruler. So the poll that I'm going to write, and you can start thinking about that, is if it spends here more units, then each unit is going to measure more or less than what they measure when you use the smaller magnification. So if, if these guys were one micron each, then when you move to a, a larger magnification, would they be more or less than one micron? So that's the poll that I'm writing. <laughs>